Hello, this is Stefan from the More 3D Tech team once again. In this quick tutorial, we'll look at how to use Google Earth in virtual reality and stereoscopic 3D mode with the Morvis VR Bridge software. Assuming you have downloaded, installed, and licensed Morvis, we will now go ahead and start the configuration. To enable the VR bridging functions of Morvis for Google Earth, start the application enabler. Do so by expanding the main interface view and starting the application enabler. Next, you can click on Locate Known Apps and it should automatically find your Google Earth installation. As I am on a development machine, this function hasn't been added yet, so I will show how to manually add the application. This is the same procedure if you have installed Google Earth into a non-standard path. Firstly, you want to click the Add button and then navigate to your Google Earth installation directory where you can find the Google Earth.exe file. Open it and you will see a new entry has spawned on the list. Next, click the folder symbol and choose the Alchemy subfolder of Google Earth client. And in here, choose the OGL subfolder and click OK and place the check mark to enable the bridging functions for Morvis. Then you can close the application enabler. Next, we open the settings of the Morvis software, where we will now configure our output device. For head-mounted displays, you can use either the Steam VR interface or the OpenXR interface. Cave and power walls can be powered by quad buffer, anaglyph, a geocorrection mode using the Vioso software, side-by-side half modes, side-by-side -side full resolution modes, and so on and so forth. Further, the software is now ready to be used in dome environments, in a monoscopic view, on 3D global auto stereo devices, on Dimenko or Leia auto stereo devices. The stereo modes are available again for Leia and Dimenko, for side-by-side -side half and full output, for top and down full output and half output, for quad buffer and for anaglyphic mode. I will now go for the anaglyphic mode real quick. Now I'm already good to start Google Earth. And here we are. A direct VR mirror of the Google Earth software in anaglyphic stereo 3D. make the following settings inside of Google Earth. Open Tools and Options. Set the Graphic Mode to OpenGL and uncheck Use 3D Imagery. You can then use the M key on your keyboard to bring up the stereo control panel, which allows for a direct adjustment of the stereoscopic effect to your liking. You can also save the current settings for the next session. Let's switch over to the VR mode. I will use OpenXR because I am currently using a MetaQuest 3. So I start my Morvis client and I start Google Earth again. And as you can see, the Earth is already very readily available. So let's zoom in. And now I will put on my head-mounted display and take a good look around in the VR scenery. And here I am, ready to explore any place on the planet directly from within the application. Well, this also features a nice set of functionality, for instance, freehand drawing into the VR space, which is especially useful for collaborative environments, so for multi-user virtual reality. Then we can uh, place location markers
these markers also function as teleportation targets. We can take a photo. And we can go for a measurement. This is still the place that I'm measuring. Coming back to our initial starting position, I want to lay out another very big benefit of the Movis software. And that is that all functions of the original application are maintained also in the VR space. So we can, for instance, do a measurement inside of Google Earth that will also be present in the VR space. See the result. We can, uh, for instance, uh, pl place a marker here, which will then be saved globally. And we can, of course, give it a name. Uh, Kern marker number one. Which then also allows to easily switch between places. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us at support at more3d.com.